Hi, my name is Bao Haojun. I'd like to share with you Wrench, a desktop tool for controlling Android phones. What is Wrench? Well, this is Wrench. Uh, we all know that uh, cell phones are great for reading and uh, watching. Uh, the social networks, the browser, uh, the internet, uh, your friends post uh, pictures of their cats and dogs and you click the like or the dislike buttons. Uh, but they are awkward for writing. Uh, the phone screen keyboard is difficult to use. And uh, although you can use the voice input, but uh, there are limitations. For example, when the background is noisy or when you are at work because uh, you would uh, disturb your colleagues to use the voice input. So, as a programmer, I still use the desktop a lot, and uh, mm, I, I like the keyboard, the real keyboard. So, why not use my desktop for input and uh, send it f with the phone? That's why I wrote uh, Wrench. It would it works on all major operating systems, Linux, Windows, Mac, because I wrote it in Qt and Lua, both of which are very uh, portable across platforms. Wrench will connect to your phone with the ADB, and uh, it's uh, open source. The source code is available on GitHub. Smartisan Tech is the company that I work for. What can Wrench do? It can do phone calls like this. I open the Wrench program and uh, click this button. The phone screen will be displayed here. But it's a bit slow because uh, uh, the screen will be screen captured and uh, then the picture will be displayed. You can control the the form, but uh, it's a bit slow, like I already said. To make a phone call, you click this button. And uh, this is a test phone number in China. So I double click on it. The phone call screen will be displayed, but uh, before it really dials the phone number, you need to confirm it and the phone call will be made. But, uh, uh, and you can click this button to end the phone call. Next, you can do text input with the Leo keyboard and send it with the Android phone. You can use it with all kinds of IM chatting apps, instant message chat apps. For example, uh, WeChat, Weixin, QQ, Weibo chat, Google Hangouts, Facebook Messenger, and uh, many others, you name it, because all the chat programs are basically the same use, user interface. But uh, uh, before I show you how to do text input and send with a form, I want to show you how to uh, find your contacts in in the chatting apps. For example, you can find your contacts in QQ, in QQ Group, in Dindin, Ali Dindin, or in WeChat. Here's how to find your contacts. Again, click this button. And to find someone on QQ, you input uh, Bao Hao Jun at, at QQ. You need to input, you need input uh, two ads because uh, one at is for emails, two at is special. So at at QQ means to open the QQ app and find Bao Hao Jun in that app. So I double click it and uh, the QQ app is opened and uh, Bao Hao Jun is searched for and uh, it's open. You can also find uh, uh, Bao Hao Jun uh, you can type here and uh, it will be used to filter the contacts. Here are the contacts uh, that you 
entered before the history of the contacts that you used. And double click this entry. Uh, the Weixin app, WX means Weixin. The Weixin app will be opened and uh, Bao Hao Jun will be searched for. Here, Bao Hao Jun is opened and I can also you can open Ding Ding, for example, and uh, Ali Ding Ding, it's an enterprise social uh, tool. Double click, the Ding Ding is opened, and uh, Bao Hao Jun is searched, and uh, you can start chatting with Ding Ding with Bao Hao Jun. So, here's how to chat. You input some text here, hello world, and then click this button, control enter. Also, you can use control enter on the keyboard. And the text will be input here, and then the send button will be clicked, And uh, uh, but uh, it's not shown because the, sp the screen sync is a bit slow. So next, what else can Range do? Oh, I forgot. You can also write emails like this. Click this and uh, click this to select emails. But uh, to input an email, click Bao Hao Jun email, Gmail. And uh, you can add uh, attachments, for example. Then you can click this button. The email app will be opened. Uh, this is for the mail attachment. Uh, it will ask you how many how many lines are there to share to choose uh, your attachment file. So there are two lines, and then it will automatically use the. Uh, you can see here, the attachment is attached, and here you can input. Uh, and click this button. Before you send this email, the, em the text is input here. Then before you send it, it asks you to confirm because uh, uh, sometimes the email can, be, can contain errors, so you need to confirm it. After you click this button, the email is sent automatically. Uh, so what else can Lunch do? It can display the Android phone screen. I have already shown you, but uh, it's for test only uh, because the phone screen display is uh, a bit slow. And uh, so, and uh, it's uh, it support input all kinds of emojis with a very special user interface for choosing emojis. It's basically the same user interface for choosing contacts. What do I mean? Uh, here, click this button, and uh, as you have already seen in the contact chooser, here's the emoji chooser. You type, uh, for example, type uh, face, then all kinds of uh, faces will be displayed. You can type uh, another word, for example, smile then only the smiling faces will be displayed. You can click the, this entry and it will be input. Click another one, click an, uh, uh, yet another one. Or you can also click uh, uh, shift enter, type shift enter. Then all of the remaining, uh, all of the emojis will be input like this. You can also type heart. 
and all kinds of heart will be displayed. Then with shift enter, all kinds of heart is input. And then you click this button, send it. All hearts will be sent. Okay. And uh, you can also use it for sharing social media. You can share text, you can also share pictures, like this. You To share the social media, you, you choose which social media you want to share. Uh, you can choose more than one social media. For example, this is Weibo and this is Weixin, which means Weixin friend zone. Uh, you can click uh, more than one and then choose a picture choose this picture uh, before before the sharing uh, it will launch will ask you to confirm so click OK button and uh, you can see here that uh, the uh, it's already shared so that's all for lunch. I hope you enjoy this little tool, which is very interesting, I think. And uh, please go fuck it on GitHub. Thank you for watching. Uh, bye. Bye-bye.